It seems there's no other place in the universe with a dense atmosphere. Mountains, sand dunes, plains, lakes, rivers and oceans, except the planet Earth. But it turns out there's actually a place much like the Earth in our solar system that has a complex weather cycle, landscapes carved by liquid and volcanic activity. It may even resemble the Earth in its earliest stages and some scientists think it might be better to colonize it first instead of Mars. This is Saturn's moon, Titan. Recently something bizarre was found hidden in its orange clouds. And because of this, NASA is now planning a mission to Titan. But what did they find? And why was it so important? Before we get to that, let's learn a little about this strange world that orbits Saturn. Our solar system is home to more than 150 moons. But only four of those have an atmosphere. One of those is Titan the second largest moon in our solar system and the largest moon of the planet Saturn. Titan is also the only place in the solar system other than the planet Earth that has liquids on its surface. It has a weather cycle much like ours, but has clouds that rain frozen liquid methane and ethane instead of water. Titan could be the best place for human colonization. In fact, the conditions are right for a self-sustaining long-term human settlement. Titan is a remarkably Earth-like world that has a thick atmosphere, about four times as thick as Earth's. The atmospheric pressure is about 60% greater than on Earth. Imagine swimming 50 feet underwater to give you an idea. This means you wouldn't have to wear a bulky pressurization suit if you were walking around on the surface. The atmosphere would also keep out deadly radiation, energetic particles from the Sun, and galactic cosmic rays from making it to the surface of Titan, making it a safe environment for humans. Mars doesn't have such protection. People living on Titan could walk or bounce around since gravity is only 14% of the Earth's. If you strapped some wings on yourself, you could literally fly around under your own power. But it's very cold on Titan, because on average it's 886 million miles from the Sun. You would need a suit to keep warm, because the surface temperature is about minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, and the only sunlight that reaches its surface is like late sunsets on Earth. Of course, you'd also need to wear a respirator to breathe. Titan is tidally locked to Saturn, meaning one side always faces the planet. It's 759,000 miles away from Saturn and has a radius of about 1,600 miles. It takes the Titan 15 days and 22 hours to make a full orbit of Saturn and 29 Earth years to make a complete orbit around the Sun. No one is certain what Titan looks like under the surface, but on January 14, 2005, the European Space Agency's robotic lander Hyens made a dramatic descent through the Moon's orange, smoggy atmosphere and landed on the surface of the Moon. The camera on Hyens shows a desolate-looking surface and captured the trademark yellow haze which revealed intricate details of the atmosphere's layers, winds and mysterious chemical processes. Based on data from the cassini hyens mission, Titan has five primary layers of rock. The soggy moon has a core of water bearing silicate rock surrounded by a shell of special water ice called Ice 6 that's found only at extremely high pressures. This high pressure ice is surrounded by a layer of salty liquid and an outer crust of water ice sits on top of this. The surface is coated with organic molecules that have rained or settled out of the atmosphere in forms of sands and liquids. The presence of lakes and seas on Titan brings up an interesting question. Could there possibly be any forms of life there? In 2005, scientists at the Southwestern Research Institute in Texas and Washington State University said that several of the crucial elements for life on Earth are also on Titan, even though the conditions are far harsher than Earth. Some life forms are a lot tougher and stranger than we think. Take, for instance, Deinococcus radiodurans bacteria, an extremophile that was in outer space for three years outside of the International Space Station, enduring microgravity, harsh ultraviolet radiation, temperatures near absolute zero, and still managed to survive. If there's life on Titan, it could be hidden underground, and a lot weirder than we think. The Cassini spacecraft revealed that the Moon is hiding an underground ocean of liquid water mixed with salts and ammonia. 
Titan could potentially have environments with conditions suitable for life as we know it in the subsurface ocean, or bizarre alien life that we don't know about yet in the hydrocarbon liquid on the surface. But what happened there recently that drew our attention there? In 2016, a team of scientists identified a molecule called cyclopropenaldine C3H2 in Titan's atmosphere that's never been detected anywhere else except deep space. The discovery was made using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array ALMA, that's made up of 66 radio antennas. These all work together, creating a single giant telescope. ALMA uses a technique known as interferometry, where all antennas are pointed in the same point in the sky. The antennas pick up a signal from the target in the universe and join forces to analyze the signal. By combining radio waves from the antennas using a supercomputer, researchers can obtain extremely high precision images. In order for ALMA to get these images, there must be a perfect synchronization between all 66 antennas and the electronics with the precision of a millionth of a millionth of a second. Using this incredible technology, researchers found something they didn't expect to find. A weird molecule called cyclopropenaldine. C3H2 is a strange organic molecule that doesn't exist terrestrially on Earth and can only be seen in a laboratory. C3H2 was first discovered in clouds of gas and dust throughout the Milky Way, including the Taurus molecular cloud. This simple carbon-based molecule may be a precursor to more complex compounds, and it could form or even feed possible life on Titan, like organic molecules that formed life on Earth between 3.5 and 3.9 billion years ago. C3H2 is the only other cyclic or closed-loop molecule besides benzene to have been found in Titan's atmosphere so far. Closed-loop molecules like it are important because they form the backbone rings for the nuclear bases of DNA and RNA, which is also a critical compound for life's functions. However, C3H2 is not known to be used in any modern-day biological reactions. NASA says the molecule could be an indicator for life, since something has to be generating an unstable molecule. If there is life on Titan, it would be incredibly different from water-based life forms we know of. NASA was so intrigued by this new discovery on Titan that it wants to study the moon more and announced the Dragonfly mission in 2019, which is planned to launch in 2027. It'll take nine years for it to reach Titan, arriving in 2036, and will cost a total of $1 billion, including its ride into space. The Dragonfly is a very unique spacecraft design and is much like a large quadcopter drone with two rotors on each of the spacecraft's four corners, hence the name Dragonfly. When it arrives at Titan in the year 2035, it'll need to travel to different areas for study. The Mars Curiosity rover used special tracks to roam the red planet, but with Dragonfly, scientists decided to take advantage of the moon's low gravity with a flying vehicle. This will be the first time that NASA will fly a multi-rotor spacecraft for science, and Dragonfly will be able to make vertical takeoffs and landings. Despite the lower gravity on Titan, it still needs electricity to fly around. So the Dragonfly is equipped with a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, a type of nuclear battery that converts heat from decaying plutonium-238 into electricity. This means it could fly and operate on Titan for decades. Since Dragonfly can easily fly around, it can be moved so that it's always facing the Earth for direct communication, which takes 70 to 90 minutes each way, since Titan is so far away from the Earth. During its proposed 2.7-year mission, Dragonfly will take advantage of the dense atmosphere that'll keep cosmic rays and radiation from destroying it. And it will fly to many different locations to pick up surface materials for chemistry experiments. It'll also check out the planet to see if it's possible for humans to inhabit it one day. Since the building blocks of life, or the organic molecules on Titan, are expected to be similar to those on Earth before life arose, Dragonfly will help study how far pre-life chemistry has progressed to see how life evolved on our own planet. See, we have no idea how life really formed and began on our planet. All we know is that it involved organic molecules. Dragonfly will check out the moon's atmosphere, what the surface is made of, and the ocean that lays below the surface looking for complex organic materials that are the keys to life. 
Now, the only thing left is to build the spacecraft and get it ready to launch. Even if we don't find what we're expecting there, the Dragonfly mission will show us a lot more about Titan. It seems that we may soon find life on another planet or moon, and that'll be a very exciting time for science and humanity. What do you think we'll find on Titan? Let us know in the comments. To stay up to date on all the amazing things happening in our universe, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications and you'll know the moment a new video arrives. Thanks for watching.